So we're here with um, Chris Washington at Dreamland Boxing. So let people know kind of what what is your story? What brought you to boxing? Um, what brought me to boxing? I don't know. My dad was a big fan. That might have been something. Um, I always liked it. I always liked watching it. And when I was younger, I tried to join, but uh, my parents wouldn't let me when I was about 13. And um, when I got older, I joined it and, and I fell in love with it. So now, what are some of your current accomplishments and like looking towards the future? What do you what do you want to achieve? Um, I, I want a, a Golden Gloves and a USA, I think it's a USA Boxing Championship, some local some local tournaments. But uh, I plan on going professional with uh, with Moses along with Moses. I follow his lead. Um, I got injured about two years ago. I had surgery on my hand, and then I I end up it's good now. <laughs> but. Uh, I ended up having a baby. I haven't boxed in about four years, but I came back. I've been getting some good sparring with uh, with uh, Rudy, with Rudy uh, Puga Jr. So he's been, we've been going at it a little bit, and um, yeah, if I'm planning on going professional, maybe getting a fight in April. I still got a couple more pounds to drop, but that's the goal. What weight class would you want to compete at? Um, before I was me and Moses were trying to go pro, we couldn't get any fights. I was going to go 147. But I'm probably 154 for sure. But when I get there, I might go back down 147. We'll see. So it's just how the weight comes off because I take it. Um, I heard the word baby. I heard four years. So I take it uh, you're not you're not the most spring chicken out. So uh, what I know is hitting 30 is it gets harder to lose weight around my ab area. Is that kind of the situation? Yeah, I'm 28 now. So I kind of feel like the clock is ticking. I get the little aches and pains, but for the most part, I'm healthy. And uh, yeah, I'm not a spring chicken. <laughs> what do you think? What do you think? Um, turning pro at a, like a later age, but having lived a life and knowing what you want, because I almost feel like that's an advantage in some ways. Where if you're 20 or 21 and you're supposed to be great, as opposed to if you're 28 and you want to take things that you believe are yours and you know what you could do, what's the difference in the mindset there? Um, I think I'm older and wiser. I'm actually happy I didn't start boxing at a younger age because I'm able to uh, to kind of, because I see a lot of little kids, they, they kind of bang it out a little bit. Some, they get discouraged, they fall off. I was older and wiser and I studied a lot of tapes on, on good defensive fighters. So I was able to adjust and, and work my defense a lot, not take too much, too much punishment or anything like that. So I think that's the advantage of starting a little bit later. You're a little bit more cautious. And um, yeah, I, look, I look forward to it. You know? <laughs> Last question. Uh, what is your fighting style like? I'm more of a boxer puncher, counter puncher. Um, I can get aggressive at, some, at, at times if I need to. If I need to put on the pressure, I could. But for the most part, I'm a, I'm a boxer puncher. Strict. I like using my jab, right hand. I, I can move good. I like when guys come forward so I can counter them. That's pretty much my thought. And finally, I, I said last question, but I forgot, is what does Dreamland Boxing mean to you? Because I, th I feel like this gym, every gym has meaning, but I feel like this gym is extra special for the members of it. So give us a little bit about what Dreamland means and maybe a Sarge story or just something about how much this means. Okay, yeah. Dreamland Boxing to me means a lot. Um, I could have, even though I, when I started when I was 20, you know, there's a lot of distractions and stuff like that and um, it means a lot. It's a, it's a safe place to come you know to get to get my mind off of a lot of a lot of the bad things out there but um, Sarge he was like a mentor he's like a mentor to the guys that came in and uh, I looked up to him and I stayed loyal to him and uh, he seen something in Jesse that that I see too when I talk to Jesse He's a, um, you know, he's a trustworthy guy. He, he likes, he, you know, he's in love with boxing, and I think we're in good hands with Jesse. But Sarge definitely started it off, and um, you know, he, he's the guy that kept me into boxing, you know. So if it wasn't for him, you you would have left, and you would have been doing something. Probably, <laughs> I would have probably left. If it wasn't for Sarge taking me in, believing in me, and kind of. Um, you know, he, like, a, like I said, he's just like a mentor, you know? He's like almost like a grandpa I never had. 